Well, you could soon be drinking beer in the streets of downtown Knoxville. This would include boundaries within Market Square, Market Street, and a section of Gay Street between Clinch and Cumberland Avenues. A proposal would designate a specific area during festivals that allows people to walk around freely with an alcoholic drink in their hand. 10 News reporter Amelia Young explains what events this would actually impact. Amelia. Well, with all the rain we've had lately, it might be hard to think about the upcoming festival season, but sunnier days are ahead and so are the giant downtown festivals. There have been a lot of requests to allow alcohol on the streets and sidewalks, and now the city is just one vote away from approving that. In five short weeks, downtown Knoxville streets will look a lot different. People will start to replace the rain and big changes could be coming to the festivals. The St. Patrick's Day Parade and Celebration is the first one of the season on March 14th. Right now on city streets, uh, sidewalks and, and city parking lots, you're not allowed to have alcoholic beverages. Knoxville Beer Board Chairman Andrew Roberto says festivals want that to change and is working to make sure that happens before March. You already have special permits that allow the same thing at Market Square and then also in the Old City. A new proposal would allow alcohol in the streets during the major festivals purchased at the event. The only festivals that exist in the proposed area are the Rossini Festival April 18th, the Dogwood Arts Festival April 24th through the 26th, and then the Ola Festival. Festival October 10th through 11th. Roberto hopes more join that list. You're seeing people interested in, you know, having a good time, knowing that Knoxville is a good place uh, to visit. He says those drinking would get a wristband allowed to walk freely with their beverage within the marked off area. If they step outside that, they'd be in violation of the open container laws. This is part of that excitement about people wanting to have festivals downtown. The proposed map allows traffic to flow with minor roadblocks. So I think it'll be a good thing for us to do. And the proposal will require just one vote from City Council tomorrow night. Back to you. Amelia, thank you.